nail that catfish to the tree. We're going to start by learning the endings of this tune. So I'm going to put my bow on the A string and I'm going to start with a two note slur. And that's going to be an up bow. So please put your bow in the upper half and just play that little short two note slur. And the note that comes after that is an open A. So I go up, down, okay? Now after that open A, still with separate bows, I'm gonna play a backward scale that sounds like this. Up bow to start. Play that with me, ready, go. One more time. Good, and always starting that please with an up bow slur. Now we're going to do that exact same thing. We're just gonna play it two times in a row. Okay, ready? Up bow, ready, go. Up bow. Do that one more time with me, starting on an up bow. Ready, go. Up bow. Good, and now I'm just gonna add one note at the end. It's an open D. It'll sound like this. Play that with me, ready, go. And at the end of that, I'm just gonna play a long E and a long D. And that's my first ending. The first ending sounds like this, ready, go. ending okay so you can always rewind this video and play that a few more times if you need to now we're going to look at the second ending which starts the same way but it has a little bit of a different array of notes at the end so starting on an up bow still with my same slur I'm gonna play but then I go to an open D and I play a scale going up long B back to G. So that whole second ending goes like this, up bow, go. B, back to G. Do that second ending again, ready, in. Okay, those two endings together make up half, actually more than half of this tune. So it's very, very important that you know how to play those endings. So now we're going to go back to the beginning and just learn the, 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 the bit that is what we call the A part of the tune. Um, so you have a couple of bowing options here. The tune starts with a little scale from open D up to G. And that's what, just one of those places where I just kind of throw my fingers down quickly and then I hold the top note. I am going to be playing that all in one down bow. But you also have the option, and this is what's shown in your sheet music, of going up bow until you get to your third finger note G and then play a down bow. Like that. So either one of those is going to work. When we get around to the repeat, you're going to need to do the up, down option. So you may choose to do it that way from the beginning. So this is the beginning of the tune. So starting on the D string, I'm gonna play a little scale. Up to a B. Okay, do that again. Okay, and now when I get there to that B, I'm just gonna do a back and forth on the A string. So I'm gonna go. A, B. Now the next notes are a low second finger C natural, open A, and a long B. And that long B will be a down bow. Okay, so if we play that all together, ready, go. B, A, B, low to C, open, B. And note that we finished on a down bow. One more time, ready? Go. The next thing we do is So you already knew that. 
that's our first ending. I'm going to put my third finger down on G, and I'm going to play the same first idea that we did without the little scale running up. So I'm just going to go G, B, A, B, C, A, B. And now my second ending, which starts with that up bow slur, D. So those are all the bits and pieces that make up the A part of the tune. Okay, so we have our little A part idea, and then we have the first ending, our A part idea, and the second ending. And of course we would repeat that whole thing. So the next thing we're going to look at is how does the B part of this tune uh, start. So we're going to get down to a C, which is third finger on the G string, and there is a pickup note to this. So starting on an up bow on the open D string, I'm going to play up on D, and then a C, which is third finger on the G string. Okay, so we'll do up on D. Ready? Go. Good, and when we get to that C, we're going to play an arpeggio, uh, but we're going to repeat the first note twice. So we're going to go like this, up bow on D. So that arpeggio is third finger C, first finger E, third finger G on the D string, and then up to a low two C on the A string. Starting up bow on open D, it sounds like this. Then I play my first ending. I go back down to C, play the arpeggio, repeat the first note. ending, up bow. And that's it. That's all there is to this melody. It's a very, very simple tune once you know your endings. So remember you can use this video as many times as you need to to go over the pieces. After that, please go to the other video and do the slow play along with Nail That Catfish to the Tree.